dear viewers you are welcome in today's participation first i would like to introduce myself before you i am probir probir kumar rai lecturer in english bangladesh gasfield school and college birasha brahman baria you can follow my facebook page where different kinds of topics of english is presented daily you know english is a skill based subject there are four skills of english namely listening speaking reading and writing in our country in most of the public exams listening and speaking skills are a little bit ignored only the reading and writing skills are given a uh, priority our today's lesson is related with writing skill the topic which we will discuss today will be very helpful for all levels of students not only this it will be also useful for the job seekers so be with me for next 10 minutes and let me share my ideas with you today our lesson will be how to write a paragraph well yes how to write a paragraph well all levels of students have to write paragraph so i have chosen the topic now let us know what a paragraph is a paragraph is a series of sentences that are organized and related to a single topic yes two things a series of sentences and another is related to a single topic okay actually whenever you want to write a paragraph it must be more than one sentence so a series of sentences and all the sentences must be related to the single topic that is the title of the paragraph so uh, we have learned what is a paragraph in order to write anything we have to know the formation now let us know the formation of paragraph that means how many parts of a good paragraph from the screen you can easily guess how many parts of a good paragraph yes three parts number one topic sentence number two supporting details and the last one is concluding sentence yes now let us know what the topic sentence is yes a topic sentence is a sentence that introduces a paragraph by presenting the one topic that will be the focus of that paragraph yes actually uh, in most of the cases topic sentence will be the definition of the paragraph suppose you have been told to write a paragraph on a postman uh, definitely will give the definition of a postman who is a postman you suppose you have been told to write a uh, paragraph on drug addiction at first uh, you will give the definition uh, of drug addiction so the definition will be the topic sentence okay the definition the topic sentence declares us what is coming next okay number two supporting details supporting details contains facts statements which guide us to full to a full understanding of the main idea actually uh, the in order to understand the whole thing we have to uh, generate some ideas and that is called supporting details in supporting details you have to uh, write down some facts you have to explain you have to describe you have to clarify the main title that is supporting details okay and no problem uh, actually it is a little bit tricky uh, i will show you how to uh, how to write this section a little bit later okay now let us come to the next point that is concluding sentence yes concluding sentence draw together the information you have presented to elaborate your idea the phrases like finally to sum up 
can be used to make final comments at the end of the writing yes what will be the concluding sentence actually in the concluding sentence what you have written so far you have to sum up the whole idea in a sentence that is called concluding sentence so so far we have learned what a paragraph is we have also learned how many parts of a good paragraph three parts number one topic sentence in most of the cases topic sentence is the definition number two supporting details okay we will uh, discuss this a, a little bit later number three concluding sentence concluding sentence will sum up the whole idea okay now uh, a little bit ago i told you supporting details what is supporting details how to write supporting details okay now uh, actually in supporting details you have to generate your ideas generate your ideas you have to elaborate your ideas you have to create some more ideas on the topic yes how to generate ideas i think you are very much worried about how to generate ideas no nothing to worry i think uh, it's very easy i will show you okay now suppose you have been told to write a paragraph on a book fair okay you will write a paragraph on a book fair okay so you know there are three parts of a paragraph in the uh, uh, opening section in the topic sentence you will give the definition of a book fair okay okay next section generating details in generating details you will uh, make some questions about the topic okay what sorts of questions please here you can see uh, uh, there are so many questions regarding a book fair the first question is who when held that means a book fair when a book fair is held then where held then who organizes a book fair then what types of books are sold in a book fair then another question what is the starting time of the book fair then another question what is the ending time of a book fair what other stalls are available in a book fair how is the crowd in the book fair and last of all what is its importance so you can see uh, based on the uh, title we have made so many questions so at first you have to make some questions okay after making some questions you uh, will give answers to these questions okay and after that you will combine each answer with one another and it will be a paragraph it's very easy simple okay now please look at the uh, questions where held when held suppose it is uh, held in the month of february okay where held it is held in bangla academy premises who organizes bangla academy and Bangladesh government organizes the fair what types of books are sold novels fictions and different uh, stories and different kinds of books are sold here starting time when uh, it starts it starts uh, 10 in the morning and continues till uh, uh, at night uh, continues till nine o'clock at night is there other stalls yes the other stalls are also available in a book fair one can take refreshment there okay how is the crowd and what are the importance of a book fair so uh, what i have told you i have told you that if you want to write a paragraph at first you have to be a topic sentence the in most of the cases the topic sentence is the definition and then supporting ideas ideas or details supporting details means you will make some questions based on the title and then you will write the answer of the questions and you will connect all the answers together and that will be the end of the section two and in concluding sentence you will write what you have written so far in a very short way in only one sentence that's all that's a paragraph nothing else okay now i will give you some examples how to write a paragraph suppose 
you have been told to write a paragraph on traffic jam okay now i will show you how to generate your ideas okay now here you can see uh, eight ideas are formed you can form more than 10 12 15 ideas no problem actually i am giving you a little uh, bit example here okay now the uh, here one idea is where held traffic jam where held okay who and held at the peak time reasons what are the reasons of traffic jam what are the problems what should you do what are the effects of traffic jam what is the role of the people what is the role of the authority if you ask so many questions and answer them and the if you combine these answers together that will be a paragraph okay now international mother language day okay actually here uh, here also we have given uh, eight ideas okay now who declared who declared international mother language day when it is declared where it is held why held why in order to remember the sacrifice of the martyrs language matters what is its importance what is its background history when held when held on 21st february okay how held how different sorts of cultural programs are organized all over the world okay so uh, if you combine all these answers together it will be a paragraph next natural calamity internet mobile phone covid 19 yes it's very important topic here okay now uh, uh, here i look at the examples when started okay at first actually in the opening section uh, you will give the definition what is COVID-19 in section 2 you have to generate your ideas for generating we have been given here eight ideas when started it started on December 19 2019 where started in Wuhan China death what is the number of death what is the effects in economy how is the world environment today what will be the after effect what is about vaccination what are the symptoms of COVID-19 so uh, what I want to share say is that actually uh, a paragraph has three part number one is topic sentence this is the definition number two generate ideas you will generate ideas in that way you will make some questions and you will give them answers and then the answers will be connected with one another and then you will see a paragraph is formed and last of all what you have to do you have to write a concluding sentence and it will be the summing up of the whole paragraph yes now uh, actually in paragraph uh, there are some other things also important yes now uh, it's very important four things they are unity order coherence and completeness okay now what are they okay now please just have a look at this unity when a paragraph has unity all the sentences relate directly to the main idea yes in the picture uh, you can see that all are related to one goal so in uh, whenever you write a paragraph uh, you should write all the sentences directly which is related to the main topic that is the unity okay now order what is order in paragraph order yes actually in the first picture you can see the order is not maintained the sequence is not maintained but here the sequence is maintained because here it is the picture is from short to tall so uh, in a paragraph whenever you write a series of sentences uh, uh, you have to write them sequentially this is the order next coherent a coherent paragraph is one 
in which all the sentences are connected together yes you will write the sentences but all the sentences will directly connected with one another and last of all completeness if all the sentences clearly and sufficiently support the main idea then your paragraph is complete so we have discussed a lot of things about paragraph if you follow these i think you will be able to write paragraph well thank you goodbye have a nice time